So when we start this, I like to simply go to Select, and we're going to create a program by hitting Create, F2. We're going to use the Option keyboard, pull up the keyboard, and we're going to call it A123. A123. So we can find this program easily and we have to hit end. Now we're in our program and we're simply going to start teaching. I have the robot where my first point will be, so I'm simply going to hit point. And these have to do with the accuracy of the point and we're just going to pick 5% for each one. So that's my first point. Now, I'm going to hold the dead man switch, hit reset to get rid of the fault, hold down shift, and I'm just going to bring this down in Z negative. And in this, I'm seeing my speed, I'm going to change it to a little bit faster for now, Z negative, and bring the part down. For this example, I've already played with position uh, that I know it's usually a good tip to actually work backwards. So I positioned the battery, then found it, and then came up and see positive and now back down. So now I've got an approach point that I want to teach. So to do that, I'm going to hit point, and we'll use the same thing. So that point's taught. Now, we're going to go down and see negative to where we want to grip the robot. This might be something we want to go and inspect so we could get close to the robot and see. For this teaching demonstration, we won't do that, but you'll definitely be walking near the robot uh, safely with the teach pen in your hand. So at that point, I want to teach this point because that's going to be my grab point. So to do that again, I simply hit insert point. Now at this point, I want to add something new. I, I want to put in a new command. And I see there's edit command. And I want to, I'm at a new line. So I'm going to say, um, let's see the commands we can get. So I'm going to say an instruction. And the instruction I would like is input output. Now this robot end effector, end of arm tooling, is mounted, as you can see, on the robot. So that's why we're going to use a RO robot output. Now, multiple outputs. We're going to hit list to see what is the gripper assigned to. It's been wired to robot output number three. So at that point, I'm just going to go enter. And then on this one, I have to say, do I want it off or on? So the initial condition is off, and I will say I'm going to turn it on. Now, to activate that, I'm going to simply shift in 201 as a toggle, and I've grabbed the part. And I don't have to teach that, but now I'm going to go up in Z positive, lift it up to a point, and now I want to teach that point. So I'm going to go previous, or find my point command, hit point, and insert that. And now I'm going to come back down, and we're going to simply go down in Z negative. And one thing I could do better than this is I'm going to go approximately there, but I could reuse point three. Then I know I'm at the exact point. So I'm going to do a little two-step here. I'm going to say, well, I want to add a move point there, but I'm going to go edit that and say, I want to change that value. 
So it says enter value or, or press enter. So I'm going to say I want that to be point three. And I go enter. And now point three, it's the same point. Now I'm going to get to the end and go enter or go down here. So there I've done that. Now I want to add a new instruction and I want to use IO, robot output, go to my list, go to number three. Sometimes it's easier to use the uh, uh, arrow keys, change that to three, enter, and this time I'm going to put off. So that should do it if I've understood the on and off correctly. So now that I'm there, I'm going to want to come up. So we've opened that up. Now to open it, I'm going to go Shift 201. It's open. Now I'm going to come up in Z. And we'll use whatever point that is. We'll just make a new one and we'll say Let's take point, and we're going to say that point is fine, point 0.5. So here, we've got our complete sequence. We're going to add two different things. We are going to add a new instruction so this program loops. So I'm going to add a jump label, and in this case, I'm going to give the jump first because I'm kind of doing it in this order, which is fine, jump one, input. That says I'm going to jump to wherever number one is. Well, I don't have that in there, so I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to say, you know, I want to say a new instruction, or I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, do I want to insert? We look at edit command. Ah, there we go. I'm going to insert above there one line, and in that line, the new instruction will be the label command. The label is telling it where to go to. And it says I can enter a value, press enter. I'm just going to go one, enter. So with this, we'll see if we're good to go for this program. But that's the sequence to make this program.